Hi guys, so this is explaining angles around a point. It's very common, you need to know it in primary, high school, all levels, you need to know it. So, angles around a point will always equal 360 degrees, purely because it's a circle. So, in the middle, it's a circle. So it's always got to equal 360 degrees. So for this first one, you have to find X. So we need to find out what the unknown is, our X. It's given us 140 and it's given us 154. So all we do is we use a little bit of algebra. So all we're doing is X plus 140 plus 150 and it all equals 360. And we know that because a circle is 360 degrees. So we do X plus 140 plus 154, which is 294, equals 360. Now what you need to do is, as in all algebra, you need to take this plus 294 over the equal sign and it becomes a negative. So it is now 360 negative 294, which gives us 66 degrees. So our missing angle is 66 degrees. And you could be thinking, well, how can I be 100% sure that's right? But with these questions, you can always check your answer. So here, I've checked it by adding up my 140, the 66 I've just worked out, and the 150. I've added them all up on my calculator, and they all equal 360. If I got 350, there was something wrong because you've got to always equal 360. So let's move on to the next one. We'll do this one together. So we've got to find X. So we have X plus 1110 plus 116 equals 360. So let's add those up on our calculator and that's going to come to 226. equals 360. So now we have X equal 360 minus our 226. So our X equals 360 minus 226 is... Do, 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 do. I've got to work this out in my head. 260. Well, if I've got a calculator, what would we do? We'd use long subtraction. Zero from six, I can't do. Let's borrow one. That gives us four. 5 take away 2 is 3, 3 take away 2 is 1. So that's 134. Now let's check our answer. So we've got 116 plus 110 plus 134. And because I haven't got a calculator, let's stick with doing long addition. 116 plus 110, 134. So 6 and 4 is 10, carry the 1. 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3. So I know I've got that right. And I needed to check that because I didn't have my calculator. And I'm a bit lazy without my calculator. So we know X is 134 degrees. 
and then move on to this one. So if you don't know this already, a square and is on a right angle triangle is 90 degrees and it's symbolized by a square. So we've got 125 and we've got 90. We just need to find our X. So we're just going to do X plus 125 plus 90 equals 360. 125 plus 90 is 215. And now we're going to subtract 215 from 360. So at X, our missing angle equals one, four, five degrees. So these are all pretty straightforward, aren't they, when you get the hang of them. So let's go to this one. This one's slightly different because it's got a three in front of that X. So it's different. But I've done an example here. So we've got 3x, that's what it's giving us. So this time we do 3x instead of x plus our 112 plus our 122 equals 360. So the only extra bit you've added on is adding that 3 in front of the x. We do exactly the same again. 112 plus 122, which gives us 234, equals 360. Same again. Move it over and we have 360 minus 234, which gives us 126. So now what we have to do, as we do in normal algebra, we have to divide our 3 into our answer, which is 126. And if you do 3 divided by 126, you will get 42 as the answer. So that's x equals 42 degrees. However, we have three parts of x. So we have to do, so this would be 3x. So you've got to times your 3 by your x. So it's 3 times 42, which equals 126 degrees. So there's a lot there in depth. So we'll do these ones together. So, we know what to do to start. 3x plus 150 plus 117 equals 360. We've already got that. We know that we have to add up these two bits here, which comes to 267. And now we know we have to take our 267 over. And it becomes a negative because it's a plus here. And that leaves us with 93. So now we're going to divide our 3 into our 93. And that will give us... 31 degrees. So that's it, we found our x. But there's three lots of x's, isn't there? So we're going to do 3 times 31 equals 93 degrees. I remember we can always check our answer by doing 150 plus 117 plus 93, which gives us, when you add it all up, 360. If in doubt, check it out. So the next one, we've got 
5x, so exactly the same steps. We have 5x plus 155 plus 175, and that all equals 360. We have 5x plus 330. So 5x equals 360. It's a plus, so we're going to subtract 330. This gives us 30. So x equals 6 degrees. But we've got 5 lots of 6 degrees, so we're going to do 5 times 6. equals 30. And you can check it out if you want to by adding it all up. If you head over to my website, this video will be up and there's another worksheet worksheet with step-by-step -step solutions so you can self-assess. I hope this helps and goodbye.